Welcome to the Quick Start Guide for Pro Contractor Studio. In just a few minutes, we'll walk you through the essential steps to get started with your first design. Whether you're new to the software or just need a refresher, this guide will help you set up a drawing, zoom and pan, trace an image, draw lines, and place symbols. Let's dive in. When you start Pro Contractor Studio, the startup screen appears, giving you the option to begin a new drawing. Click New Custom Drawing to start from scratch, or start a new drawing from the File menu by going to File, New, New Custom Drawing. This will open the Drawing Page Setup box, where you can customize the paper size, orientation, and scale. Always enter paper dimensions in the Portrait layout, even if you plan to design in landscape mode. For most residential designs, a 1 inch equals 20 foot scale is a good choice, but you can adjust this based on your project needs. Once everything is set, click OK and your drawing workspace is ready. Instead of setting up a drawing from scratch every time, you can use a pre-built template. Templates come with preset layers and line styles, making your workflow more efficient. To use a template, open the startup screen, Browse the template list here on the left and select an appropriate one, such as an 8.5 by 11 inch piece of paper at a 1 inch equals 20 foot scale. If you open the layer manager now, you'll see that the template loads with predefined settings, allowing you to start designing immediately. Navigating the drawing screen efficiently is key to working faster. Here's how you can control your view. To zoom in, Roll your mouse scroll wheel forward over the area you want to magnify or zoom in on. To zoom out, roll the scroll wheel backward to shrink the view. To pan, hold down the scroll wheel while moving your mouse to shift the view in any direction. If you need to center your view, click on the Zoom to Paper button to fit the full sheet on the screen. For a full view of your design elements, use the Zoom to Drawing Extents button here from the View menu. If you have a site plan or a customer-provided plot, you can trace it to quickly begin designing. Start by selecting the Insert Image command from the Draw menu. Click Select Image and choose a file type such as a PDF, JPEG, PNG, BMP, or TIFF image file. Once the image is inserted, Drag and position it on your drawing screen. To ensure accuracy, you can use the measurement tool to scale the image properly. You'll choose two known points on the drawing, enter the known distance, and press the Enter key on the keyboard. Now the image is to scale with your paper. Before drawing any type of entity, it's important to select the correct layer to maintain clarity in your design. Examples for preset layer styles include the building layer for houses and structures, the hardscape layer for patios and pathways, and the property line layer for defining boundaries. To draw a line, press the L key on the keyboard or click on the line icon in the drafting menu. Click a starting point and then move your mouse to define the direction. You can enter a line distance in feet, in inches, or a combination of both. Pressing the Enter key after entering a distance will create the line to your desired length in the direction your line is currently headed in. For precise angles, you can use the Polar Tracking feature by pressing the P key on the keyboard. This will allow you to draw lines at precise 15, 30, or 45 degree angles. If you make a mistake, Press the Escape key to erase the last point drawn. When you're ready, you can press Enter to complete the line. Symbols like sprinklers, plants, and irrigation components are what bring your design to life. To place symbols, open the Plant Placement or Sprinkler Placement tool from their icons in the right menu, choose a category, and select a symbol. Click on the drawing to place the symbol, and then adjust its rotation as needed. To place multiple sprinklers efficiently, choose a sprinkler from the Sprinkler Placement command. Click a starting point, 
and then drag across the area to auto-place a row. Pressing the Shift key on the keyboard will place the heads at the correct distance for head-to-head -head coverage. Press the Escape key to finish placing a symbol. And that's it! You've now learned the basics of creating a drawing, using templates, zooming and panning, tracing images, drawing lines, and placing symbols. With these tools, you are ready to start designing in Pro Contractor Studio. If you'd like more in-depth tutorials, be sure to check out the videos in our tutorial library, or join one of our monthly free training classes. Both can be found under the support link on our website. Thanks for watching, and happy designing!